Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations. So coming at you today with a new ornament in my 2019 Make It Merry Christmas ornament series. I'm gonna share with you how I made these little bundle of sticks with a little tea light in the middle of them to kind of look like they're in the middle of a forest or in the middle of my woodland themed tree and to kind of look like a little um, fire pit. Absolutely love how these came out. I'm gonna share with you all the ornaments that are on the tree, but I will link a playlist at the end of this video. So in case you um, haven't been following along this year, I have made quite a few ornaments that will um, lean towards this woodland theme feel. Now these are some Christmas craft uh, natural brush, um, just basically sticks that are in a little bunch from Hobby Lobby, they're $5.99. Regular price, of course, right now, all of Christmas is 50% off, so you can get this little bundle for $3. If you're not like me and can't um, walk out in your backyard and get them, this makes it really convenient. There's all different sizes in these bunches. Uh, one bunch kind of looks like it has more of larger um, sticks in it, and the other one has a mixture of large and small. I'm also gonna use this Waverly uh, chalk paint. This is in the color Truffle. And I'm gonna be using that as well. And then these are tea lights that are from the Dollar Tree. This is a two pack. They have um, 120 hours each and they have the flickering effect and the on and off switch on the bottom of them. Now this time of year, I encourage you to look around because a lot of times Dollar Tree has carried the three pack around Christmas. Just giving you a little more bang for your buck. But I wanted to show you, um, just so you could be on the lookout. Sometimes these are in with their other candles and sometimes they're hanging in the middle of the aisleways. But this is what it looked like. And I'm gonna just use a regular paintbrush and um, a pair of scissors. And I even bought this pair of wire cutters from uh, Walmart. These are Stanley. They're a really nice thick pair. And I'm gonna actually use these to kind of cut my little branches in half. So I'm gonna start out by uh, taking the bunches apart. And I'm gonna kind of lay all these sticks out and all the little faux snow that's on them kind of falls off towards the end and make such a big mess. Now I'm gonna take these little tea light candles and I'm just gonna paint them brown. Honestly, just because um, when the sticks are all around them, I didn't want that stark white poking out in between. And I absolutely love the chalk paint because it dries super fast. And I gave these two coats, but honestly, as you're gonna see at the end, it doesn't really matter. As long as kind of that stark white is covered, that is plenty good. And I take careful consideration on trying to cover all of these up. I love that truffle color. And this one already had one coat on it, and I go back and just kind of touch it up with a second coat. But as you'll see here in just a minute, that is absolutely not necessary. Now, I also had some of these elongated ones. They came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm gonna paint one of those with the truffle paint. And I even try to go down in the top edge of this one. It's a little bit deeper, you know, than of course the other ones are. But I just paint all around the sides. I get a little bit on the flickering part. You can take a Q-tip and some water and get that right off. I didn't worry about it though, because I knew that I was gonna kind of end up covering a lot of that up. It was just a few little spots and it didn't affect the you know flickering of the light. I'm gonna cut several of these pieces in half. I kinda eyeball halfway for a lot of these, and that works out fairly well, but I can also use some of the old sticks 
and kind of measure them out that way too. Because not all the sticks are the same exact size. And I have to admit, after putting some of these together, they feel really weird. Like that fuzz that's on them, it just made my hands feel weird. And my hands are like super, super dry right now. Um, you know, with work and using that alcohol rub every time you go in and out of a patient room, my hands are like so dry. I've been throwing the moisturizer on them and you can't really see it by looking at them, but when I rub across something soft, like the shirt that I have on, they feel rough and it just, I don't know, it gives me the cold chills like every time I do it. So here I am just kind of cutting all those little pieces. Some of the bigger pieces, I just go all the way around in a circle and then kind of pull them apart. I'm gonna take some of the Dollar Tree twine and cut it to kind of a long length because some of the sticks are kind of long. And I'm just gonna take some hot glue on each side of the tea light and glue it down. And I kind of make sure that the, you know, twine is long enough so that when I put down the sticks, it'll stick out above it so I can use that to hang it on the tree. And I thought that worked really well. You could always, of course, maybe um, tie little knots around maybe top parts of your stick. But I like how this came out and I just glued the sticks around the string itself so you really can't even see the string. And I used pretty much hot glue on all parts of these um, to kind of stick those sticks down along with the twine. And that's me making sure that it's gonna be longer. I absolutely love how these came out. And I love the color of these little twigs. You know, if you have some of the twigs that have the little, um, like the pit berry type look to them, I think those would look really cute on this. And as you'll see at the end, I end up putting on gloves. The other thing too was that the um, hot glue would kind of go through and um, hit my thumb. And it never burned me, but it would stick to my thumb. And then I would have to work to actually get that hot glue off of my finger. It was so funny. So I'm going to go all the way around it. And I kind of make sure that that um, twine kind of comes up through. I ended up running out of some of the smaller sticks, so I cut some more. And then I decide to take some of the twine around the bottom edge, and then I wrap that around. And I just take the two, I double layer it, so I don't have to go around as many times. Just to kind of give it that really cool look. And I love the look of having the little tea light on, so I already have that on. And I decided to add a little bow to it at the end as well. Now I'll cut that off and I kind of glue, hot glue that into place as well. And I just love the little glow that that sums up. And then here is what it looks like all around the edge and then with that little bow at the end. Now a twig with a bow I guess is kind of silly but I knew I was going to hang this on the tree and I just thought it gave a really cute look. Like it's almost like in the middle of a forest and maybe a lamp is even in the middle of it. So I kind of do the same thing with the bigger one. It has that little dip in it, so I decided to break off some of the, well, some of the little teeny tiny pieces I had were um, pieces that were already broken off some of those skinnier pieces. 
And then on the table is all some of the faux snow that was on it. And I kind of moved the sticks out of the way and get a little pile and put a little bit of hot glue down onto the candle and just add that to it. And I think it looks really cute that way. And it kind of hand kind of hides that candle look. But I like just bunching it up around on there. And I'm going to use the larger sticks on this one since it's the larger candle. And I'm going to finish this one out around the whole perimeter of the candle as well. And I, like I say, I do use some of the larger sticks on this one. And this idea kind of blossomed from Pinterest. I saw something really similar to it, except they didn't paint the actual um, tea light. And these little sticks are from Hobby Lobby versus getting them out of your backyard. And that's just in case you just don't have that option. Now I put a little bit of faux snow on this one. I use the Aileen's Glitter Snow. As you can see, that little cute bundle down in the bottom. And then I put the um, twine hanger with this one as well. And I really liked how they came out. I think they look really cute hanging on the tree. I love turning on the little tea light part. And then I did decide to make another window. I made a couple of these in the past. And the little pine cones themselves are from the Dollar Tree. The little moss is from Joann's that I got on clearance. And I am going to show you what these little pine cones look like that were from the Dollar Tree in the little baggie. And these have a little bit of faux snow on them as well. They do have some that are plain though, so if you just want the plain ones. All the sticks on this window, I used about three of the larger sticks on each side of the window frame. And then I just put in a bunch of the little smaller pieces in with it too, just to kind of build it up. I did use those same sticks to do that with. And here are my little fire bundles. I think these came out really cute and they add just a little something else to the little woodland tree. I think turning on the little tea lights and having them light up just looks really neat. I absolutely love how they come out. And I know you're not going to probably have a um, bow tie on your little fire bundle, but I don't know, I like that. Or even like it's a little lantern that's kind of in the middle of this little forest. And I included a few still pictures here at the end, um, just so you could kind of see them up close. I know sometimes even in the video, it's hard to tell what they really um, look like in person because the color is a little distorted and everything. But I absolutely love them. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I've missed hanging out with all of you. I hope you are having a great week. December is just gonna, I guess, fly by, just kind of like November did. I hope to be bringing you some more videos um, coming up this week. I have some other um, decorating ideas that I'm kind of doing with my um, tablescape and everything. So I hope you guys will come back. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the bell, that'll notify you every time I upload a video. I'll have my um, playlist uh, listed here, linked at the end, in case you're interested in that. And like I said, thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate all the uh, comments and all the love and um, the stories that you share with me of making some of these ornaments this year. That has really touched my heart and I really needed it. So I appreciate it more than I can say. You guys are having a great weekend, and I hope you get a moment to craft it up. Take care. <laughs>